You know, this meeting has con has been convened. You know, to um, to see the agenda of the United Nations in the field of uh, uh, combating uh, AIDS. Ten years after the summit, which has been held here uh, in uh, New York. My name is Serin Juk. I'm from Senegal, Chess. I was born in Chess. I've been here for 20 years. So right now I'm, I teach economics, finance, and international business at City University of New York. But before that, I've been in banking for almost 10 years. Now uh, I'm an entrepreneur, professor, and we, we do a lot of, lot of things in, in, in New York. Mm -hmm. Senegalese are entrepreneurs all over the world. And the benefit we have as Senegalese entrepreneurs in, in New York, uh, besides making money over here, we can build infrastructure for Senegalese in Senegal also to do business over here. If you look at my case, I've been involved in the handcraft business artisanal for 10 years. We invested almost $2 million dollars and our goal is to create distribution in, in, in the U.S. because penetrating the U.S. market is not that easy because uh, the business structure in, in, in Senegal is not the same like over here. But the Senegalese entrepreneur will make it a lot easier for Senegalese because we talk about globalization. And in order for Senegal to do better, we need to own infrastructure in, 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 in the U.S. and Senegalese are almost everywhere, no matter from the World Bank to the Pentagon, anywhere you go, we have Senegalese people. I am a network engineer and uh, I've been here since 99 and, uh, you know, I came over here to do a master's degree in computer science and previously I had the opportunity in Senegal to start the internet over there. The American dream meant having a house, having two garages, having two cars, and eventually a dog. That's what they call the American dream. So what happened being like from Africa, when you come over here, you start working, you get integrated in this country, and you buy a house. But what happened? is when you buy a house, you have a mortgage that now you have to pay for the next 30 to 40 years. That will make your going back more difficult, in fact. So tell me, how is it being a Senegalese living in the, in the U.S.? I mean, living the, as Senegalese, I shout out for my friend, family first, from back home. I, lo I love you guys, I miss you guys. But being Senegalese living here in the US, U.S. is kind of like a, a little bit um, difficult, but I mean, we, we all Senegalese trying to represent the country. And um, living here, I mean, we try to fit in. I mean, coming from a French country, you know, come here and we speak the English and try to fit in and uh, blend in. So it's a little bit difficult. We, but you know, Senegalese people, we always come through. You know I'm saying we make it. I mean, so we really, uh, I mean, we can accommodate the situation no matter what.